steel and timber re-sleep ring, as the name suggests, involves the insertion of steel and timber sleepers. Steel sleepers are effective in maintaining a constant gauge, which is the distance between the two rails. Timber sleepers, on the other hand, have very good bearing capacities, which essentially take the weight of trains as they travel. It is for this reason that steel and timber sleepers work so well together. The physical re-sleepering process commences with the insertion of steel sleepers. Steel sleepers are placed in a pattern such that every second sleeper is steel, also known as a 1 in 2 steel sleeper pattern. The steel sleeper will replace an existing timber sleeper, which must first be removed from track. This is done with a Gemco machine. The condition of every existing timber sleeper that was removed from track to make way for a steel sleeper is then assessed. If the sleeper is in good condition, it will be reinserted back into track during the timber re-sleepering run. Failed or life expired timber sleepers are discarded. In order to then insert the steel sleeper, a scarifier machine must first clean out a small trench in the ballast so that the sleeper can be easily inserted. A tie crane positions the steel sleeper in its proximate position. Subsequent Gemco machines then slide the steel sleepers under the rail into their final positions. Steel sleeper fasteners are then distributed and manually put into place. Once the steel sleepers are fully fastened to the rail, a vibra tool machine provides some initial compaction to the steel sleepers. This is done by vibrating the available ballast and squeezing it underneath the sleeper. On completion of the steel sleeper run, all the machines then travel back to the start of the day's work so that the timber re-sleepering process can commence. The timber re-sleepering process involves replacement of only those timber sleepers that are failed or life expired. The Gemco machine extracts the predetermined failed or life expired timber sleepers. Again, the scarifier creates a clean bed. New timber sleepers, or any reusable timber sleepers generated from the steel run, are then inserted into track. The tie crane positions the timber sleeper in its approximate position, and further Gemcos slide the sleeper under the rail into the final position. Timber sleeper plates are then distributed and positioned correctly. The timber sleeper fasteners are also distributed. Prior to any fasteners being applied, the Vibra tool packs the timber sleeper so that it's lifted hard up against the underside of the rail, so that the foot of the rail sits correctly on the sleeper plate. Special timber sleeper screws are used to fasten the sleeper to the rail. Before the screws are fastened, holes need to be drilled through the existing plate holes into the timber sleeper. The screws are then tapped into position ready to be fastened. A specially designed machine completes the process. Upon completion of the physical re-sleepering process, and once the discarded timber sleepers have been cleaned up, ballast needs to be distributed on the track. A ballast train is the most effective way of doing this. Immediately after the ballast has been dropped, a ballast regulator ploughs the ballast out. Once the ballast has been ploughed by the regulator, a special machine known as a tamper is used. The tamper provides final compaction to the steel and timber sleepers that have just been inserted. The tamper also corrects any horizontal or vertical geometric errors, which eventually leaves a sound track structure that's fit for carrying trains at full speed. <laughs>